then uh, it's time for Rune Wendelbo of, uh, from Norway. And he's dealing with a really cool material called graphene. And he's using it for batteries. And the name of your company as of today is Graphene Batteries. Yes. <laughs> Welcome to EcoSummit. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm uh, Rune Wendelbo, C CTO of Graphene Batteries. We are a startup based in Oslo, Norway. Um, we are not going to make batteries. We are making a key component, which is the act active material on the cathode, which represents about 25% of the value of the battery. So most of you have felt the pain of having a battery with too little capacity or too little value for money. You can buy a Tesla now with driving range, which is acceptable, but the battery there costs like $100,000. In Norway, we have extremely good incentives, so, and people are really happy with the electrical vehicles. So I think they have a future. And as we saw yesterday, price of battery will go down in the coming 10 years, maybe by 70%. Mass production, new uh, features, etc. And that's where we will help. <coughs> so the market for batteries in the, for the transportation sector in the coming 10 years, it's up 700%. And with the, um, this price reduction, that means in volume, probably like 20 times. So there will be a need for more batteries and better solutions. In the value chain, we are at sort of the bottom. We make one of the components that go into the cell, which then goes into the pack, which then goes into the car or maybe the laptop or um, the um, mobile phone. The requirements are different in different segments. For example, for mobile phones and laptops, a lifetime of two, three years is okay. If you lose 30% in two years, it's okay. But for an electric vehicle, you would like lifetime to be maybe 10, 12 years. The batteries used in Tesla today are the same as in a PC. So I think we will see some complaints soon. <laughs> also, the risk of explosion, etc. It's, um, it's not totally eliminated. So we, we went for a safe, cheap, an environmental friendly material, which is called lithium iron phosphate, which is already established on the market. It's used a lot in China. We heard yesterday it was used by Zonnen Batteria for uh, home installations. It's the one cathode material that is predicted to have the fastest grow in the coming 10 years. So our material is a powder, a composite, that we would ship then to the cathode manufacturer, who would make the cathode, who would ship that to the battery assembly unit, who would then ship it further. So what do we gain? On energy density, we see a 30% gain from what we have in the lab today. That's mainly because we can make the cathode thicker. And by making the cathode double thickness of today, all the other stuff in the battery can be reduced. So that's where the saving is. We also antic anticipate increased lifetime, but that remains to be proved. And for proving that, we need to build a real battery to, to, to demonstrate. Charging time and safety will be more or less like for LFP today. We also use water in the um, production instead of uh, NMP, which is probably going to be phased out very soon because it's toxic. So status today, we have what we see as a, we are experienced guys, so we, we think our method is of uh, production is scalable, but that also is going to be proved, demonstrated soon. 
We have a few patents and, and uh, know-how as IP, patent applications. We have a project from uh, Research Council of Norway, and we have uh, interesting collaboration with uh, CVD equipment in US and uh, National University of Singapore. The business model is simply to commercialize this product. First option is to produce and sell. Second option is to license. Whatever is most attractive. So who are we? Rahul Futerar, who has a PhD from, in battery technology from ETH in Zurich. He's CEO. I have uh, 20 years experience in materials and a lot of experience in patenting. And then we have uh, as our chief scientific advisor, Professor Lee Luli from Singapore, who can also make these demo batteries for us in his lab. So our advantages are experience, knowledge, and market contacts. We have, on a lab scale, POC, proof of concept. And we have a valuable, extensive value chain network. We have some partners, mostly Norway, CVD, NUS. Mm -mm. Avalonix is the little Norwegian startup company owned by myself that produces the graphene that we make. So that's uh, what we call battery grade graphene, because graphene is many things. No graphene product is exactly like another graphene product. So we think we have a good one. What we need is 2.2 million US dollars to make first a pre pilot and then a real pilot to supply, to test out reproducibility, scalability, supply material to Singapore, and, and also for this learning about design of the production unit for future scale up. So this can be arranged as a staged investment, a relatively modest uh, amount for uh, the pre-pilot, and then most of the, of the um, money for the real pilot. The equipment is not that specialized. We can use, f f on this, at this level, we can use much uh, standard production equipment. There are also matching funding opportunities with, uh, from Nor Norway's state agencies. So the investor doesn't need to really put up the 2.2 million. That's the total package. So our f goal is to produce and sell the powder, but we see a trade sale is, as a realistic, something that might happen within three years. Because we are relatively close to, pro to having a product. So please contact myself outside or contact Rahul for further information. Thank you. I think three years to exit is a, probably a short period of time. It may take a little bit longer. It may. <laughs> <laughs> we, we are not so worried about that because we, we think we have a sustainable plan. Okay. Yeah. Super. Thank you very much for coming. Thank and you. Here's your speaker gift. Thank you. Great.